All right. <laughs> Playing some Dragon Quest V. Oh. All right. So. So um. The music may be too loud. I'll pull it down a little bit. So. <clears throat> I am gonna play Dragon Quest V. I, uh, in the uh, in the spirit of <laughs> in the spirit of transparency, I um I have played it before, but I I feel like I've maybe got a third of the way through it, and just other stuff came out and. Uh, yeah, I just there was other things going on, so I kind of put it down. But I love Dragon Quest desperately, and I want to, I want to, uh, I want to finish it. I want to see see it. Everyone, everyone I talk to, which is no one, <laughs> everyone that I've ever heard, has talked about how Five is so 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 great. So I've. Uh, my history with the games I've played uh, I've played and beaten Dragon Quest 8 and I've played and beaten Dragon Quest 11 um, both of which I felt were just phenomenal and so I really do want to go back and play I don't know about all of them I keep trying to go back and play Dragon Quest 1 and it's just too it's just too rudimentary it's like it's, to me, it feels like pulling teeth because it really is just purely grind based. And I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like I could watch a playthrough of it and be good. All right. Let's try that again. It's for less than a second. A lot of sprite work just to make him hold the baby. It's kind of crazy.
happens twice. <clears throat> it's impossible to miss that staircase. looking seagulls. Got some nice looking anchors. Look at that's just charting. Charting through the waves. You're you're cool with me destroying all these barrels. You weren't using these for anything, right? Not 100% clear on how important it is. They give those, they give you a ton of them, and I don't know if they matter or not. talk. It's meant you. Alright. And the barrels have miraculously returned. Strongest care in the game. Character in the game. <clears throat> Look what Mr. Briscoletti doesn't know won't hurt him. Oh, you can get in here. Various drinks lined up on display. Oh, it didn't mention that I can't read. I feel like that's something it usually... Maybe it says that later. Like he didn't need a medicinal herb. He's a rich guy. Let's check out this balcony. <sighs> Smell that air. Oof. Let's see what this guy's talking about. Little Haven before Nolan. Not that there's much there to get excited about, mind you. Okay, so that just leaves these quarters. I'm Captain Blythe, which I believe that's a historical reference, and I'm the master of this ship. So I am. Captain Blythe was an actual. Is that true? Let's look that up. Spelled differently. Yeah. Okay. Um, he, Captain Blythe, historically, I think is kind of a, a notorious figure. It's spelled differently, but there you go. Your father was a big help to me many a time in the past. You know, this ship actually belongs to a chap called Rodrigo Briscoletti. It doesn't often carry regular passengers. 
This is a special voyage, special voyage laid on just for your father. You make sure you do what he says, won't you, boy? You'll grow up to be a great man if you do. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I hear that you and your father are traveling around together, just the two of you. That's nice. <laughs> Thanks, guy. Alright. There aren't any books in particular that I'm interested in. The Monster Book of Jokes. Five takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. What do you call a warthog who's always out to get you? A thwart hog. <laughs> Unfortunately, Five can't read and doesn't get the joke. He can read enough. He can read the setup, just not the punchline. He's a strange. <laughs> it's a strange learning disability. It's so sad. You hate to see it. No. You didn't scream or nothing. A bit of an hard nut, are you? I suppose. Yep, <clears throat> we are here. We've made poor boys. Cast anchor, lower the sails. Put out the piece of wood for folks to walk on. Looks like we've arrived. You couldn't go down below and give your father a shout, could you boy? I guess. Let's see if these guys say anything different. Take care. Alright. Boys should never be screaming or crying, no matter what. Okay. It's not the best message. So we've docked at last. It must be two years now since we've last since we were last home at our village. You were so small that when we left five that I doubt you remember it very well at all. Right then, ready for the off? Make sure you haven't left anything behind, won't you, son? Break all the barrels you see. That's my boy. special happen so we get our first look <laughs> screw these barrels <laughs> we get our first look at potential ooh, potential wife dose all right uh, let's talk to this guy instead of my dad cool all right we'll be disembarking in a minute five who's out there waiting for, to get on the ship captain Ah, uh, Mr. Briscoletti, I hope you haven't been waiting too long. Uh, <laughs> you're in my way, old man. She's the new 3DS wife, or uh, the new DS wife, I think. Ah, travelers, I see. I must apologize for my daughter's behavior. <laughs> she's new. She's new content. And here's the Meister of the vessel. Good to see you again, Mr. Briscoletti. Judging by the look on your face, I'd say you've had an enjoyable trip. A smile shows a man is eating well. I... Is that true? And now, allow me to introduce my daughters. Or should I say daughter? One of them has rudely gone on ahead. Nira, come here to... Come here to Papa. Oh, my poor Bambina. Is the step too high for you? Allow me to give you my hand, my dear. Thank you, sir. A traveler with manners. Good, good. Now, Nero, we've traveled further than a long piece of linguine. You must be exhausted. I wonder... It's hard to say, because the clues are very subtle, almost imperceptible to pick up on. But I think you're being led to believe that Mr. Briscoletti is of potentially Italian descent. Who can say? Be a good man and take Nira to my suite so she can get some rest, hmm? Right away, sir.
My apologies for holding you up, sir. Please, terra firma awaits you. All right, uh, let's talk to my favorite character so far. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen Mr. Briscoletti look so happy. Anyway, it looks like our time. It's time for us to bid each other farewell for now. Boy, spare me a thought every once in a while. I... <laughs> sure. This world's most important character and my favorite captain of a boat. Attack, attack. Mr. Brick, Briscoletti may be rich, but it doesn't mean he's forgotten the important things in life. Like being rich. He's a good man, you know. His daughters will probably grow up to be the happiest girls in all the world. Okay. Uh, let's go speak to them for a second. So we've got, uh, this guy. One of his daughters. Dear me, I totally forgot to get everything clean and tidy. Yeah, you blew it. Look, this is not an open house, you know? You can't just wander around like your own place. That's my job. This is my room, got it? So you better leave, don't you think? We're gonna be good pals. Who are you? Oh, you're traveling around with your father. That's funny, I'm here with my father too, and my sister. I'm a little bit scared of the sea, it's just so big. All right, well, uh, actually, let's see if they say anything else. Nope. Okay. Yep. Okay, and I think with that, well, let's talk to Mr. Briscoletti. I'm sorry for delaying you, young man. Take care of your travels now. All right, let's do this. Are you sure you've gotten everything? You've checked inside the drawers as well. <laughs> Have you looted everything possible? Yes. And it looks like our voyage is at an end. Are you ready to disembark? Yes. Well, Captain, thanks again for everything. Have a safe onward journey. I'm sure I will have a long, flourishing lifespan. And we'll all see each other again soon. That is how boats work. Hey, it's Pancras, isn't it? Pancras is such a strange name. I like it better than Papas, but still. I thought so. So you made it back safely, did you? I may starve and I may go thirsty, but nothing can finish off old Pancras. <laughs> Certainly not a demon. Now then, Five, I have some business to do with the gentleman, with this gentleman, so why don't you run along and play? Oh, and while I think of it, I want you to have this. A map. <laughs> All right, we got the adventures map. It's a very important map. An old friend of mine made it for me long ago. Make sure you take good care of it and don't lose it. And don't go off playing too far away. All right, well, let's we'll see. I like the uh, gradient of blue to brown on these stones. This is kind of a nice little touch. Everything's great. No one will be sad. Alright, so I got some money. It's gonna be our way out, probably. See who's inside. I'm just sprinting to get everywhere. Hello. It must be two years now since that chap Pancras set off from here on his travels. He said he was going off in search of something important, and he took his little boy with him to you. I wonder what became of them. No comment. No, you're the little boy. And Pancras just arrived back on that ship. You shouldn't go around spreading silly rumors, you know. It is a weird rumor. Okay. Uh, I checked those. Alright. 
and keep me off that way. Let's go explore. Do I have uh, do I have anything equipped? No, because plot-wise, right, 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 of course. Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. That's right. <laughs> Couldn't leave me alone for two minutes. Well, what's the word? Are you alright? <gasps> it's too dangerous for you to wander off too far on your own. You must be more careful in the future. Alright, let's get going. Uh, so we got, oh, what are those called? Um, jail cats. And funky ferrets. Okay. I think that's game. I'm pretty sure those are the I'm pretty sure those are the boss. <laughs> Where'd he go, son? Where'd he get carried? <laughs> but it's an old Pankras. Wherever have you been these past two years? Never mind that. It's good to see you back, and that's all that matters. I mustn't just stay in here chatting away, though I need to tell you everything the good news. I need to tell everyone the good news that you're back. <laughs> oh, I'm in control. No, I'm not. Okay, just kidding. Hey there, Pancras. Hey, Pancras. This can't be that little lad of yours, surely. Triumphant return through uh, Little. What is the name of the place? Little something. Little Haven. I don't know. I know we didn't always see to eye to eye. I know we always didn't see eye to eye, but I've been missing seeing you around. Come by when things have calmed down a bit, and we'll settle all scores. That sounds intense. Oh, there's my man. Mr. Pancras, sir, how wonderful it is to see you looking so well. Praise the goddess for delivering you home to us safe and sound. Glory be to the goddess. I beg your pardon. I seem to have gotten rather carried away. But your home? Your home. Pancras is home. I'm so happy. H-A-P-P-Y. Happy. Sancho. Senor, you have returned. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's, it's so good to see you. Oh, gosh. Okie dokie. I've been waiting for you with bated breath. Come, come inside, senor. Okay, we're just gonna read that like a normal person. Normal. As in, not having a cartoonish, cartoony Spanish accent. Not to insinuate that being Spanish is not normal. might this girl be? It's my daughter. Oh yes, I know you. You're old. Oh, jeez, I didn't read that right. <laughs> I know you. You're old Whitey's wife from the village nearby, aren't you? Let's see, Miss Whitaker. Nisha came here from Roundbeck to get the medicine from Senior Whitaker, her husband. Hey there, how's it going? Grown up talk is boring. <laughs> I think I play upstairs. I 
from Bianca. Do you remember? Um, I'm going to say no. I don't blame you. You were only tiny back then, after all. I'm eight, which means I'm two years older than you are. Well, this conversation's over. Hang on a minute. One, oh, okay. Am I supposed to read something this difficult? Well, that was a really fun time being upstairs and playing. I really enjoyed that, Bianca. Thanks. Okay, well. Hmm. Alright, we got a hat. Put that mess on. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, the bag. Okay, let's see her. Yeah, so if you're if you're curious, this is this isn't my first playthrough of it. Well, it's my first. I never finished it. I got about probably two thirds through it, and stuff just came up. So I'm trying to make my way through it now. Pot lid. All right. Hmm. Is it in my back? Alright, well, we'll cross that bridge in a sec. Oh, I guess I shouldn't bother looking at the bookshelves if I can't read. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's full of notes, choosing ingredients, methods of seasonings, tips for achieving the best results. <laughs> but I can't read. I intrinsically know what the book's about, but I can't read it. Alright, what's Sancho saying? Oh, my mom! <laughs> oh well. We had one. It's my dad saying. Sure you behave, alright? Oh! So he just bails. <laughs> Pot, pot. Of strength. Pot. I guess there's no reason for me to not be taking these already. Because I feel like I need to be. I need to buff up as much as I can. Yeah. I'm sure somebody will say. Oh god, don't use those. Use those on X character. Can I not use this as a shield? Surely. I mean, it's in my inventory. Oh, that's funny. Alright. Oh well. <laughs> oh. And he skitters. Where's he go? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Off he goes. All right, what we got here? We got our well. A stone. So it's just a bit of rock, I'm sure. So I know that you collect tons and tons of... I know you collect a whole bunch of um, random items through story things and just every place that you go, and some of them can be used for things, but I don't know if they all have some kind of significance. So maybe we put that in the bag. I don't... Oh, we'll just see. Somebody say something if uh, 
I was not supposed to be there. Hey, guy. Did I get a weapon at first? Ooh. That's pretty pretty rad looking. Bop, bop, bop. And then a copper sword. I kind of want that staff. I feel like that's how he looks in all of his, all the pictures. Hey, guy. Just hanging on to weapons and armor isn't enough. Now you have to equip them properly before you can use them. Up, up, up. Pet the cat. When you say confess. Jeez. Taken away by the angels. All living creatures are children of the goddess. Kings were church. It is time to save. Please do. Shop up her. You know, it's my old dad. He went off looking for herbs and hasn't come back. He probably went searching for him in the cave here. Wheelbrook at it. Okay. Surely I'll never run into him again. Again or ever. What is this? Gotcha. Okay. You need me to go find your dad. I hope I find your dad. Hello, ma'am. This is Wheelbrook. Okay. If you head west from here, west, 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 you'll come to the town of Roundbeck. Do you say anything else? Nope. Hey, guy. Poor plants are really suffering here with this cold. I'm at my wit's end, I am. Did you get that stone? I did. Uh, uh huh. What? Okay, so that actually did seem like it had some significance. I often wonder what sort of life Pancras led before he came here to Wheelbrook. He doesn't seem to want to talk about it much, but I'd wager he was no ordinary man. You mark my words. I don't know, almost like he was royalty or something. Anyway. <clears throat> we get it, Jermaine. You know what happens. Two? Oh, no. That checks out. Grafter? Is there a bar down here? Barrel. Barrel. Look, I'm ten years old and I'm ready to get tour. Chums are hanging out in here. Okay. 
right. So this is where, okay, yes. We live in the town west of here. It's called Roundback. Your dad used to bring you over to my house to play lots when you were little. When you say play, do you mean go upstairs, try to read a book, fail, and leave? That man I sent looking for herbs still ain't back yet. Wish I could send somebody in after him to see if he's alright and everything, but your father seems so busy in a minute. And I doubt there's anyone else who'd be willing to try to go traipsing in the depths of the cave for me. Tells me west is round back. It's this way. So here's the cave entrance, you know, boy. Don't expect me to come in after you if you get yourself lost. Well, don't expect me to come after you if you are also lost. You're a good child, aren't you, boy? Then make sure you don't get in the way of that father of yours. Okay. Up, up, up. Do I have anything I can buy? No, I can't buy items. Do I have a weapon on me? I have a stick, a hat, okay. And for some reason a shield that doesn't want to be equipped. Let's, okay. I mean, does it have any spe special effects besides... Alright. Fine. Okay, so maybe... Do I have any money? 39 gold. That's not a lot. Well, let's just go to sleep then. Uh, can I go to sleep? No. It's down here. Right. Rando stuff. I know you get around the old man. Oh yeah, you go cave entrance. to guard the door, if you don't mind me. And it's a mimic. Okay. Uh-oh. Two experience, two gold, too sweet. Let's see. Okay. Oh, what are they called? Boring buck. <laughs> Way to really sell it. Ugh. That's right. You can't. So you can't. Um. If it's a party of the same type of enemy, you can't choose which one you're hitting. If they're different types of enemies or they're split up in different groups, you can. Oh, we got uh, burr babies. <laughs> Great. direction I can go. 
Yep. Man, they do. I wonder if they're just trying to level you up at this point. How dare you, boring bug. I thought we had an arrangement. this. So if I remember from my the last time I played it, I had to super duper stock up on herbs. Looks like it might be some kind of warning sign. <laughs> Five isn't learned how to raid. Um, and I just had to grind it. And grind and grind and grind. Draki and a hammer hood. Draki or Hammerhoods miss a ton, but then can critical hit you like crazy. And Drakis are just hanging. Just being, being chums. Hold up. Oh, I didn't even see that. Uh, level three. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yes. <laughs> the mystery of the pot lid is solved. All right. Okay, fine. Yes, please. Okie doke. I'll miss you, pot lid. Okay. Four experience points obtains three gold coins. All right. And again, in the same spot. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. I will say I'm going to kind of treat this sort of like a blind playthrough in that um, I'm not going to do much research well we'll see we'll just see because I don't I hate 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 the idea of missing stuff but I also you know like I can play different I can do different plays through, throughs of it so it's not a huge deal Okay. Get him. All right. What do we got? Give me the goat. I want the goat. You're good people, Hammerhood. Society doesn't understand you. How are we looking? We're good. Is that the same bend I went down twice. I don't happen to know any magic, do I? Do I? Gotcha. 
Well, do I know any battle spells? <laughs> I'm being so specific about it. Well. <laughs> I'm such a fool. I got bored not being able to move and ended up falling asleep. Oh. <laughs> I was just walking along minding my own business when this huge rock came tumbling down on me. I suppose I could trouble you to give it a shove. Alright. Oh, come on. He's surrounded by monsters. No, let's let the man die. Let's teach him a lesson in pain. All right, nice work. I'm lucky you came along. The name's Rockefeller, by the way. <sighs> Pleased to meet you. Now we get that medicine to Miss Whitaker, like she asked. There's no time for idle chit chat. It's better be back and start mixing these herbs. <sighs> there goes a hero. Hey, guy. Don't be mean to me. I'm not a bad slime. You know, I promise. Slurp. <laughs> Slurp is so gross. I know, I'll let you in on something gooseful. When you're cruising around, you'll find there are a lot less monsters out in the open than there are in forests and up in mountains. Slurp. That's... Yep. Did you trick me? Did you trick me, my my slime friend? Dracino! Alright. Got the rock. Alright, you got to go, Hammerhood. Ouch. He hasn't landed a shot yet, but when he does, it's like, for real. Hey, hey, Wayfarer's clothes. Alright. <clears throat> I'll put them in the bag. Uh, let's trade out these plain clothes. Yes. Nine HP. Not great. Let's, uh, let's rectify that. Although, it doesn't matter. Okay. <sighs> that is not what I meant to. everything that's in here because I guess really your only goal is to save Mr. Rockefeller that move is supposed to be. That one is awesome. It's, it's animated really well. Nice. The Quattro. Alright, 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 alright. Now I can heal. 
<clears throat> it's clutch. All right. Let's see. Yep. Oh, that's right, because you you eventually later go in on the other side. I think that's where the spoiler from Zenithian Sword is. is that true? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Is this Zelda? Which one's Zelda? I saved that guy. You know, I just walked out of it. That's fine. Yes, so that was your dad. My old dad. <laughs> Who says my old dad? My old dad finally came back with his herbs he was after. We'll be getting to work <laughs> Work on making the medicine now. I should think I'll probably have it done and dusted by morning. Cool. Meanwhile, you're cool if I go through your stuff. Ugh, hand moving cape. Uh. Up, up, up. Oh, usually stuff says like if you can wear it or not, right? I'm not sure. Why would I examine the ground at my feet? Transfer discard. Okay, never mind. Well, fine. You're the young laddie from the cave, aren't you, boy? You really helped me out in a tight spot back there. Of a tight spot. In fact, I'd say you deserve a reward. Have a... Oh. My bad. <laughs> well, okay, can I use it? Am I just dumb? No? Can I equip it? Well, that must be for um, Bianca or something. Correct. Um, Sanjo. Uh, no. Okay. No, I want to go see Bianca and, um, Mrs. Mrs. What's-His-Face. What is her name? Miss Bianca, I guess. Miss Bianca's mom. Dot gov. Uh. Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay, let me read that again. Ugh. There's still no sign of him. Okay, she said. All right. Basically, appreciate it. You do you, boo. And then, I guess that's it. Now I am feeling a tired. Awareness no chase indeed. Hmm, okay. What's going on everybody? I'm a bit worried about them traveling on their own though. I was thinking I might see them back to round back safely. Do you want to come along? What happens if I say no? Yes. Good, let's be off then, shall we? No, I don't, Dad. You're my sole guardian. I'm cool, just chillin'. Adios, Senior Pancras. No get in no trouble, eh? <laughs> it's 
just a short trip to round back my man. <laughs> my dog, that's all. I see, we'll have a safe journey. Just a hop and a skip. Hello. What a delight it is to see your face again. <laughs> uh, likewise, my man. You don't remember me, do you? <laughs> is that Mario? You're back, Miss Whitaker. Did you manage to get hold of some medicine? Well, that's good news. Eat it. Mr. Whitaker will be right as rain in no time. Where's old Whitey then? I'd like to pop my head around the door if that's okay. What? Oh, this is Whitey, right? Why don't you go for a bit of a walk? Okay. Mr. Whitaker, can I get... I want to talk to Mr. Whitaker. Excuse me. The four great furry friends. Five takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. Let me introduce four great furry friends. There's Clever Saber, Kind Leo, Sweet Mo Mohicat, and Brave Percra... Per... Perky... Percy? Maybe? Who knows? Hey, how's it going? How you doing? None of them are the slightest bit alike. They're good at different things, and none of their favorite foods are the same. Just your friends. They do argue from time to time, of course, but they always make up and play nicely together again. Clever Saber, Kind Leo, Sweet Mohi Cat, and Brave Percy slash Purse Perky. You'll never find four friends so great or so furry. Story strikes something of a chord with Five. I thought we've established immediately that Five can't read. And so now there's, I guess that's a children's book. Anyway. My dad's ill, you know. That's heavy, Bianca. Uh, sure. Okay, can I give her... She's already got one. And a knife and a pot lid. Okay, well, she's ready to, to gank somebody. the things we can steal. <laughs> All right, seed of resilience. Ooh, and chimera wing. Do, do I want to use that on her already? Or him already? Where'd it go? Oh, she's holding it. Increase resilience. What does resilience change? Uh, sure. Let's give it to her. And she's holding the chimera wing. That. Well, let's put that in the bag. Well, no, she should hold on to that, I guess. In case anything bonkers happens. Let's go out on this balcony. the world collecting unusual tableware and the like. I heard that Count of Tayton used to drink used to drink tea, oh, used to drink tea from something called a Toff's tea set made of silver it was. Okay. It's a oddly specific anecdote to regale me with. 
Okay, did I see everywhere in here? Oh, out here meets this dude. This weirdo. Long, long ago, a mighty count and a beautiful countess lived over at Uptaten Tower. Ah, okay. But they were unable to have children, and the place was left deserted and empty after their deaths. And yet, night after night, sound... <laughs> I forgot about that music cue. Sounds of crying can still be heard coming from within the castle walls. The end. What do you reckon of that, son? Pretty scary stuff, huh? Absolutely, yes. I'd still, I'd steer well clear about Taten Towers if I was you. Well, after that story, who wouldn't? Goodness. Okay. All right. So we got a whole town to kind of see. What are you talking about? This here is Roundback. If you head north from here, you come to Up Taten Towers. Hello. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. You're not one of the usual little ruffians I live in half year. But you're still getting in my way. Go on with you. Well, that's okay. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you've had a history with ruffians. So we got items, armor. Right. And then these chumps. Boy, what do you want? Can't you see we're busy teasing this stupid cat? Get lost. It's a pretty weird cat, isn't it? It's purrs really funny. Go on, purr again. <laughs> Leave him alone, poor thing. Give him to me. I'm bored of teasing him now. If you want him, you can have him. But only after you've gone and defeated the ghosts at Uptaden Towers. You defeat the ghosts, and you get the cat. Alright. That sounds like a fair trade. diligent young thing you are coming along to the church by yourself and with someone else. You remind me of me when I was your age. That dude was tooting his own horn about rolling up to church. for a booze with your girlfriend, have you? She's not bad, neither. She'll be a right looker in a few years' time. Well, this was, uh, this was a weird outing. I apologize. Okay. Can I get in from the back? Okay, no. There's the inn. There's that dude. What else we got? We'll talk to them here in a sec. That guy's guarding the way. Did I go in here? No. A young rascal of mine has gone and got himself a cat. I keep telling him we can't possibly keep a cat here, but he won't listen. He's a worry sometimes, that boy. Ma'am, your son's a jerk. I'm sorry I have to tell you. I'm sorry you have to learn about it like this. Okay. Alright, so let's see if there's things we can buy. Um, ideally, it's nice, at least it has been last time I played it, to have a character that's kind of hitting everybody at once just because they're so weak. So, like, a boomerang would be nice. Thorn Whip attacks a group of enemies, so that'd be nice. Um, copper Sword, Bronze Knife, Oaken Staff. So, hmm. Okay. I wondered if the main character doesn't. I realize there's probably nothing like canonical, but like canonically, if the if the main character 
keeps this or like uses that anyway <sighs> do I want to like grind out for a boomerang it'd make the game easier for sure or thorn whip at least let's okay okay um yeah Uh, wait, I'm wearing that. Did I not equip it? So she could wear that. That would do a couple points. Armor is what I'm talking about. Um, goodness. Okay, so I just need to go grind. I suppose. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Musk. Hairband does what? But it does kind of buff her... stuff. Alright, let's just buy a ton of these. Uh, Bianca will please. Oh man. Who doesn't love some buying one at a time? Uh, how many did I get at this point? I have four, she has three. Let's give her one more. Oh, I can't even leave town. What am I talking about? That's right. We don't leave the house until nighttime. Um... Okay, well, we've walked around town. It's been great. Bop, bop, bop. I guess I'm... Can you just call it a night? You've got to tell your dad you're done taking a walk, I guess. So we walked around, Bianca got hit on by a stripper, or a bunny girl. Sorry. Just as some sort of cold or other. I suppose we better start talking about making tracks for Wheelbrook. You can't possibly be thinking of leaving now, Pancras. You should stay one night here at the very least. One ghost-filled night. Well, I suppose you've talked me into it. Oh, good. Let me show you to your room. <laughs> oh, they're the innkeepers. Are they? I guess they own the inn. That probably got said, and I was being stupid. Here you go, Pancras, and have a good night's sleep, eh? Right, well, we better both be on our better be on our way early in the morning. Otherwise, the folk back in Wheelbrook will be wondering where we got off to. I'm from Wheelbrook. This is Roundback. Okay, that's the stuff I gotta keep straight. We should make sure we get plenty of rest. Good night, bye. And asleep. Let's hurry. What do you mean where to? Up Tate and Towers, of course. You have to give them ghosts the what for so we can save that poor cat from any more bullying. All we have to do is keep heading north and we should come to the place eventually. Let's go. Alright, let's do this team. Are you sure he's asleep? Oh boy. So your parents sleep with their eyes open too, huh? I'm sorry. Okay. 
and <sighs> way to go, guy. All right, let's uh, let's get strong. Yes. Oh, her sprite looks so great. I forgot that baby Bianca looks really good. All the sprite, I mean, it's Kira Toriyama, so it's all gonna look good. Bunicorn and what? Combatter Pillar. She's not very strong. Uh, she has a knife, that's right. Okay. Well, we can grind for money and. Yeah, that's the point. We grind for money so we can buy better gear. I'm sure there's people who are like, you can play it and not grind, and they'd be furious with me. Does she inherently have magic? I have heal. No, okay. She was, okay, so she's level two. How we doing? So sort of like, now that I can heal... Um, ooh, now that I can heal... Um, and the fact that... I think we just keep spending the night until we're done doing this. From what I understand, we can just sort of use that, almost like Dragon Quest 1, like you go, you heal until you run out of MP or whatever. Let's see. I don't know. How's she doing? Not great. So that took a couple. All right, let's heal her too. And those backgrounds look great. If uh, Lord Willen and the Crick don't rise, if this works out and we make it through this, then maybe somewhere down the line I could play the PlayStation 2, the Japanese fan translated PlayStation 2 version of this, which is real weird to look at. Um, and it goes for, with the different sets of names for everybody. So, Pancras is Papas. Um, I think they ditched the. Oh, that looks awesome. They ditched the uh, kind of um, 
the dialects of different different places. I don't know what's different about it. It doesn't look great, but it's interesting that what? What did it just do? That monster. Well, thanks a lot, Jail Cat. Oh, let me... Wait, does she stay alive? Oh, she has one hit point. She can't die. Well, okay. We're gonna milk that for a little bit. Boom, boom. Oh, this music is so rad. But that's all you get of it. I'm done. <laughs> Spooky fire. Right, there's a cave. And there's another entrance. There's like a couple entrances, right? I think it all connects, but... Probably looks at the grave in front of him. There doesn't appear to be anything of note. Oh, okay. Hey, how's it going? Five look at the grave in front of him. There doesn't appear to be anything of note. Is this what all the graves are gonna say? I'm kind of assuming so. Watch me miss it, because I'm not paying attention to the text. So, if not a one of them says anything important, it makes me wonder what the point of what the point of having it in the first place. It's all good. Pot. Into smaller pot. All right, and come here, wing. Let's see what's around back here. Oh, whoops. Okay. Oh man, so there's, okay, this is a third entrance at this point. We got the front door, we've got that, um, oh, and I just walked in from the back, I guess. Okay, well, I'm locked in. Choices were made. Um, all right. done to like the look feel of this place okay uh, oh it's just these no big deal and just a bunch of kids opening some coffins well all right Nope. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, gnarly. Is this like... Whoa. Oh. Oh, no. No, that's okay. I just have to find her. She's outside. Oh, jeez. So that's cool. What's that all about? Oh, I made a mistake. Uh, right. Stone the crows. The living statue shows its true colors. And I do no damage to it. Oh, Kidoki. Oh, I'm out of MP? Sweet. Woof. <sighs> Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, come on. 
Does she get out? <gasps> oh, cool. Yes. God. This is something about it being Five's grave. Let's open that mess. <laughs> okay, cool. Woof. <laughs> so that went great for both of us. What are the odds we can be one? Okay, so this was sarcophagi, sarcophagi, stone bars. Graves, that's nice. Hmm, what happens in here? Oh, that's cool. I'm interested in these books, though. What's the situation? Ah, ghost. Hello, ma'am. Just looks kindly at Five and Bianca and then closes her eyes. Hey, all right. Well, that's mighty nice of you. A collection of love poems. Five takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. But it's too difficult to read emotionally. Five returns the books back to the shelf. down. Oh gosh. That's rad. It's window business. That's good. Kind of skis a view into the other rooms. Oh, chandelier. Right. I say right, I don't really remember. <gasps> oh, let's go talk to to her. But first, let's go through your stuff. Silver tea tray. Nope. I wonder what made the ghosts come and live here in the first place. What is it about the castle that attracted them, do you suppose? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's close to the lake. People like that, I think. An ancient looking tray with some intricate engraving. But the detailed embellishments are still superb. Okay, well, that's great news. Uh, is this just a ghost bathroom? Thank you. Uh, speaking of, so when she died, did she lose her equipment? No, it went back to her. Okay. Alright, well, let's... Let's talk to her. Good evening to you. I am Miss Count of Uptaten Towers. 
ten years ago now, the people of my castle were attacked by the monsters and killed. Why did such thing happen, you ask? It is said that an evil being tries to take from the world all children with any status. But count up Taden, and I haven't no children, and I believe this angers the monsters and makes them kill us all. Still, still there is no use in counting the cost of it over and over. What's done is done, but you see, we would very much like to rest in peace. I'm hoping you will be able to help us. Could you try to banish from this old derelict castle the ghosts that now live among us? If these ghosts are not gone, the people of the castle are fated to forever dance upon this cursed stage of limbo. Yikes. So, we need to fix your ghost issue. It's dark. Oh, it's as dark as you like in here. Watch where you're walking if I... It's like I want to fight the ghosts. They look really cool. So he's guarding the door. Whoop. Okay. Well, let's follow him. <laughs> right. Oh, this is so cool. You can't, you can't fall down, can you? No. Okay, good. Uh huh. Well, I know an invitation when I see one, so I'm gonna go downstairs instead. A picture hangs on the wall. Oh, the old living picture bit. Or maybe not. I think I hate Will of the Wisps. I think they're bad. Well, so are ghosts. Nice. Okay. Oh, uh, maybe, uh, oh. Oh, hello? Can I talk to y'all? No? Can I talk to you? Hello. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's not only ghosts, but spirits of the dark world. Of the dark world and Nadiria, too. This must mean that Grandmaster Nimzo is extending his grip on our world. I read all about him in a book once. Nimzo. So that is at least big bad number one. And if I know Dragon Quest, which I barely do, I know there's big bad number one and then the actual big bad. Oh, there's clouds out in the back. That looks cool. If I run into this duo again, we're gonna try and do the ghost first. Take him out. Oh, she's not doing well. Increases to level five. Oh no, 
I remember hating this duo. Uh, I don't remember who's more dangerous. Probably him, because he calls her back up like a monster. Says one is more dangerous, proceeds to attack other person. That's what the YouTube comment will say. Nice! Oh my gosh. Do they go down really easily? No. Well, this is how we level up, I guess. Come on, guys. You didn't want to call for backup. Yes. Alright, let's see here. I'm thinking we'll explore just a little bit more and then probably call it quits. And we came from there. I just want to see everything before I talk to the guy, but, uh... Hey guys. Oh, that lovely silver pot and cups are probably lying somewhere forgotten. What a terrible waste. Is this the front door? Nope. It's ghosts. Alright, let's get them. Yikes. Medicinal herb. And that goes directly to Bianca. No, it's not the front door. Well, okay, yes, it essentially is the front door. Oh, but it won't open. So I couldn't have gotten in there anyway. Oh boy. Let's kill these chumps and then let that guy start calling in other people. Oh goodness, they hit hard. Real hard. Oh, I'm probably making a mistake. Oof. Nice, okay. die oh so what that's that right <laughs> that's pretty great okay so I think with that that's a good stopping place um so <laughs> so that was real fun um yeah, thanks for watching that. I'm going to try and pick up from here and just kind of see where this goes. See how far I get. And uh, bup, 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 bup. yeah, I hope you dug it. Appreciate it.